Uh, so as far as the top three things that I'm telling clients to think about when it comes to mobile, uh, one is to really challenge us in terms of being upfront with what your goals are. And so even if someone's interested in, say, uh, driving sales, well, what does that really mean? Does it mean getting them to the store? Does it mean actually getting the product in their hand? Does it mean being able to see into their basket? So being upfront with what the goals are and then trying to get us to help them get as close as possible to achieving and measuring them is a really big first step. Uh, as far as other things that I tell my clients, it's one is that, uh, and others that you really can measure just about anything and everything when it comes to mobile. Sometimes the track is a little different. Yeah, it's a little different from what we've been used to online, but there's a lot more that's coming in from mobile, uh, especially in terms of data uh, that we were never able to access before. Uh, and then the third thing is that uh, uh, no matter what we're trying to do, the scale is there. I mean, for any given piece of it, whether it's shopping or social media or second screen or any of these kinds of activities, that there is going to be a big user base for just about any activity. Measurement is one of the greatest opportunities and challenges that we have with mobile because it is changing things quite a bit. Uh, so our agency started doing search back in 98. Now mobile changes that quite a bit because a lot of it's driving people to stores and not driving people to clicks and immediate conversions online. So that changes the kind of measurement we need to do. And so we need to start factoring more things like mapping and store locators and seeing do we know how that device is being used in actually getting that product in people's hands and getting them to the right place uh, to actually pick up that product. So that starts changing things. Well, there are a lot of great brands and marketers doing multi-screen marketing really well. Uh, a lot of the best ones are coming from the TV space. I mean, there's just this whole slew of second screen apps, but you see uh, some networks like Bravo and USA, which we work with, doing a lot to create their own experiences. I mean, Psych had a phenomenal program called Hashtag Killer, and so it was it keeping excitement about their the show going on USA well beyond when it was actually airing. I mean, similarly, Bravo is constantly experimenting and, and has all, all these uh, interactive components to watch, watch what happens live and yeah, their nightly talk show. And so they're looking for people using their mobile devices to engage with it. One of my other favorite marketers in that regard, uh, one that, that's not a client, is The Simpsons. Uh, their app, the game Simpsons Tapped Out, is becoming such a hit that far more people are interacting with the game than watching the TV show. And they're spending real money in the game, but then in the game, the, they're actually trying to drive tune in and so get people to watch the show. And so it's this whole question now of what's the first screen a anymore when you have a bigger audience playing this little mobile game than you do you know, watching the show on their 50-inch TV.